In this demo, we will cover how to monitor live voice and chat conversations. We will first enable call recording in the contact flow and then simulate voice and chat conversations for live monitoring. Once you have logged into the Amazon Connect instance, you will be re redirected to the home page. Before we begin to monitor conversations, we need to enable it in our flow. We can do this by navigating to the routing header, click contact flows. Select your contact flow name, then under Analyze, drag set recording and analytics behavior onto your contact flow. This block should occur before a user is transferred to an agent to ensure that the entire conversation is monitored. To enable monitoring, we need to be able to record conversations on both the customer and agent. We can do this by clicking on the Set Recording and Analytics Behavior block and turning on Call Recording for Agent and Customer. Then we will publish this contact flow. To select the conversation we want to monitor, in the sidebar, hover the graph icon to expand the Analytics and Optimization menu and click Real-Time Metrics. Then click on Agents to view the current conversations for agents. To view the monitored conversations, we will need to launch the Contact Control Panel, or CCP. To do this, click Contact Control Panel near the top right corner. To monitor a live voice conversation, let's simulate a live voice call. In a new window on the right, we will log in to our Connect CCP as an agent. With the left window remaining as our Call Center Manager CCP. As an agent, I will now accept this incoming call. Going back to our previous window, which is logged in as the call center manager, we'll monitor the voice conversation by clicking on the eye icon next to the voice channel for the desired agent. This will allow us to listen into the current conversations between the agent and the customer. Looking back at our CCP window, our status has changed to monitoring. To monitor a live chat conversation, let's simulate a live chat. In the Agents Connect CCP window, I will accept this chat from the customer. Going back to our previous window as this call center manager, we will monitor the chat conversation by clicking on the eye icon. This will allow us to view the chat conversation between the agent and customer. Looking back at our CCP window, our status has changed to monitoring. It is important to note that before monitoring any conversations, the user cannot be on any contacts. You can stop monitoring as the call center manager by choosing End Monitoring in CCP. This does not end the conversation, but instead only removes the monitoring status on the conversation. When the agent decides to end the conversation first, the monitoring will stop automatically. By monitoring the conversation, this enables managers to assist agents in their training period to ensure they are supported during customer conversations, thereby improving the overall sentiment of the customer.